guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna to be trying out the Makeup Revolution IRL Whipped Creams. They came with six different shades. They run for $7. I picked up a few, of course, that I feel like are the perfect everyday type of nude lip shades. I did pick up a bold lip, a chocolate brown, because you guys know here on my channel, I love a chocolate brown lip color. Like, I love a bold lip when it comes to this lip shade. So we're just gonna see, does it apply on evenly? How does it look on? How does it dry on our lips? And basically the formula is supposed to be non-drying with a matte finish, a blurring effect. The formula is supposed to be really velvety and it's supposed to be really pigmented. So today we're going to be trying them on and we're just going to see what it's all about and I'm going to give you guys the full tea. Everything of course will be linked down below in the description box. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos just like this one. And let's jump on in and try them on. So quickly, let's go over the packaging because I do really like the packaging of it. I love that it's full size. It does come with a dofa applicator which you guys know I love it girl I love a dofa applicator it's nice and spongy I feel like it has a nice slice slant to it that you can use it to line your lips as well as for a scent you guys I do not pick up a scent which I am not mad at because I prefer products not to really have a scent I don't feel like it's anything that we really need as of for the consistency you know the consistency I'm a little surprised you guys it does look a little a little thick and chunky <laughs> doesn't look as velvety and creamy and soft. It does glide on a little patchy. I did have to kind of work the product when I was swatching the back of my hand. We'll obviously see how it applies on. Maybe it'll be a little different. The texture, I hope you can pick it up on camera because it does look a little like a little grainy for some reason. It almost looks like the form is a little dry. And by the way, the first lip shade we're gonna go ahead and try on is called Caramel Syrup. And I actually really like it. I think it looks really pretty. So watching the back of my hand, I'm really excited to see how it looks on because this could be a really beautiful, like everyday type of lip shade. So I'm gonna quickly remove the lip combo that I currently have on and then we'll jump on in and try on Caramel Syrup. I'm going to start in the center of my lips and look at that, super pretty. It does look like it has a matte finish so far. And it doesn't look as patchy as when I applied it on <laughs> so it's in the back of my hand. So, so far, so good. I'm going to quickly finish applying this on. Caramel Syrup. Actually, I'm surprised with the formula, you guys. It didn't apply on patchy. It doesn't look grainy and kind of like... Yeah, grainy like it did before when I swatched in the back of my hand. It did apply on evenly and when I pressed my lips together, it kind of blended everything really nicely. It doesn't feel over drying on my lips. It feels nice and powdery and soft and slightly hydrating. It doesn't feel like I need to apply on like extra moisture like a gloss or anything like that on my lips. And I do love the Dofa applicator. I found it to be really useful when I was cleaning out the edges. Perfect if you don't have a lip liner, you can definitely use a Dofa applicator to, to do that to kind of, you know, clean everything out. But I do do like the lip shade I wouldn't wear it alone to be honest I'd wear it with like a nude type of lip liner just to add a little bit more warmth just because I do find this lip shade to be pretty pink but I do like it I feel like this is a perfect summer springtime lip shade if you want to add a little pop of color so let's move on to lip shade number two so this is called espresso nude and you guys are here on my channel girl I love a good nude so I'm really excited to apply this on and so far again I don't know what it is but when you swatch it it does look a little grainy it looks a little dry. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, it does apply on a little patchy. I don't know what it is, but so far I do love this lip shade. I feel like it's a beautiful everyday type of nude lip color. And I honestly gravitate towards more lip shades like this one. So I'm really excited to see how it looks on. I feel like it's gonna go really well with the makeup look that I've created for today. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dive on in and apply on this lip shade. Starting the center of my lips. And look at that, you guys. Oh, it's so pretty. I really love this lip shade. I feel like it goes really, really well with my skin tone. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish applying this on. Espresso Nude. I really like this lip shade, you guys. I do feel like it has like a slight, like, I don't know if it's pinky or peachy undertones as a color, but nonetheless, it's really pretty on. I do like it. I do wanna mention that now, this, since this lip shade's a little bit darker, more pigmented than the last lip shade, I noticed that when you press your lips together, like after you initially do a quick little swatch in the, on your lips and then you press your lips together, it doesn't apply on or like transfer over evenly. It does apply on a little, a little patchy, if that makes sense. So I feel like when it comes to these lip colors, you're going to have to like pay attention when you're applying it on to make sure it applies on evenly throughout your lips. It's not going to be one of those lip colors that you can quickly just throw on, press your lips together and feel very confident that it's going to look even. Uh, so that's the only thing, but nonetheless, I do like it. I feel like it's a really pretty everyday type of lip shade. It feels really comfortable, hydrating, velvety, and soft on my lips. So, so far I actually really like it. And I love the Dofa applicator again. 
I feel like it's helped me, you know, line my lips really nicely. So let's move on to lip shade number three. It is called a Frappuccino Nude. And let me tell you, I feel like Frappuccino Nude should be called like Chai Nude, to be really honest, because it gave me like Chai vibes for some reason. <laughs> but nonetheless, I feel like it's really pretty. I do love the undertone to it. I feel like this would look really nice on with like a taupey lip liner, more of a chocolate brown lip liner as well. I feel like this is a perfect like date night, midday type of lip shade. I actually really like it. And it's definitely something that I don't naturally gravitate towards, but I feel like I can make, you know, create a nice little lip combo that I feel like would look really nice. So let's go ahead and jump on in and apply this on. I'm going to go ahead and start in the center of my lips. And you guys, look at that. It is so pretty. Again, it does apply on the slight little chunky when you first apply it on your lips, but I feel like if you just kind of apply it on evenly and like play with it a little, <laughs> I feel like nonetheless you can get a really pretty finish. Frappuccino Nude. You guys, I still feel the same way that I felt before. I still feel like this is not a lip shade that I naturally grab a tea towards. I'd pair it with like a taupey or like caramel brown type of lip liner just to add a little bit of warmth. Um, but I, nonetheless, I don't feel like it looks bad. I feel like it works with my skin complexion. I love the fact that it applies on evenly. It doesn't feel over drying on my lips. It feels comfortable and hydrating at the same time. I do still feel like you have to pay attention when you're applying this on. Apply it like carefully just because it does have a weird like consistency. It's like obviously it's like velvety, but like I don't know. You'd have to see it. I hope you can pick it up on camera, you guys. I really Really hope you do. Comment down below if you like lip shades like this. I'd love to know. And let's move on to our last and final lip shade. The last final lip shade we're gonna go ahead and try on, it is called Americana Brown Girl. And this is giving me brownie chocolate chip vibes, like a true chocolate. <laughs> and I really like it, you guys. I'm excited to see how it's gonna look on. I love, love, love lip shades like this. It's just, I don't know something about it. I just gravitate towards lip shades like this, like a cherry, like a dark cherry and like brown lip shades like this, they're like my go-to's girl whenever I'm in the mood to give a little vampy moment. I feel like this is perfect. And so far, the formula, you guys, now I found the word that I would best describe this. Like a moussey texture, but like in a little slightly drying <laughs> way, which I don't want to be rude, but it, it really does, you guys. The consistency of it is very different than anything that I have tried. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and jump on in and apply this on. And of course, I'm going to start in the center of my lips. And look at that, you guys. It is so pigmented. And then when I press my lips together, so far the formula is transferring over pretty evenly. So, so far, so good. I'm going to go ahead and finish applying this on. Americana Brown. I am blown away of how much I love this of shitty guys. It's definitely giving me a vampy look vibe and i'm here for it i just really love those shoes like this i don't know what it is <laughs> but nonetheless i feel like it applied on pretty evenly i didn't have any issues applying it on obviously clean out the edges that was the only thing i didn't want to go in with a lip liner so if the edges look a little uneven that is why i tried my best you guys but the Jeff family care came through love the fact that it doesn't have any scent i do like the formula even though it's a little like moussey and a little drying kind of on the consistency i feel like for the price point i feel like it's pretty fair for what you're getting I do like the undertones that's selective within this collection. I'm really curious to see what the last two shades that I didn't pick up would look like. But I feel like if you get an Ulta coupon, you guys, and you can like save a few more dollars and try these out, I definitely feel like it's worth it. Again, I feel like the shade that you're picking up matches the packaging really nicely. So that'll go a long way. And so far, that is basically, you guys, comment down below if you try these. Which lip shade was your favorite? I'd love to know if you have any video ideas. Also, comment down below. Let her grow know. But this is basically it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I love you all so, so much. Bye!